Among us, the key docker switch received a lion's share in this year's budget is the Ministry of Energy, which was allocated 2.8 trillion shillings, up from 1.6 trillion shillings. I.e. Karuma Hydropower Dam and the Isimba Hydropower Dam and the other dam like Ayago. The sector, according to government, is one of the key priorities to accelerate growth to as much vanted middle income economy. Power in the rural areas. If we have roads in the rural areas, that is one of the, <coughs> uh, uh, the igniting factors. The Uganda National Roads Authority, currently under the management of the former URA boss, the venerated Aaron Kajina, has been allocated 1.8 trillion shillings, while the Works Ministry received 998 billion shillings. Because we believe that infrastructure development is one of the core fundamentals that can transform this country from a subsistence economy to a middle class economy. This has raised eyebrows over why UNRWA would get a larger allocation than the Works Ministry. Because we hope that uh, Madame Kajina will be able to do a, a good job like she did in URA. The defense docket received 1.6 trillion shillings. This rise could be attributed to the UPDF's continued presence in the troubled South Sudan. The defense budget is justified to receive uh, money sufficient to protect our country. Now, for a country to be peaceful, you have to invest money in it. Uh, right now, we have defense forces here and within the region. The money that we have allocated to the agriculture sector is around uh, approximately 500 billion. When you look at what has gone into the energy sector, it's approximately 3 trillion. So that is really a very great imbalance because Given the fact that Uganda is an agricultural country, Nagri has been given more money this time. I hope we can improve on our uh, genetic materials. Under the HESA docket, referral hospitals will each receive 275 million shillings to purchase oxygen. You know, people have been dying simply because there is no oxygen in these hospitals. Because of the 2016 general elections, the budget for the Uganda police has been enhanced to 540 billion shillings, which is far higher than the 426 billion shillings for the Minister of Education. For example, we have an election uh, starting from October for almost five months. Uganda still runs a cash budget with about 80% locally generated from tax collections. However, there are fears that the taxpayers we have to dig deep into their pockets. So the tax burden is going to be too much. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.